the great joke may well be that the smaller the percentage of the brain you use, the more intelligent you become. That's a quote from Gene Key 24 We are transiting currently. And today I just want to talk a little bit about this theme and share some of the gems and start a little conversation. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and I am committing to create a video every six days or so as we transit the new gene key theme or the new hexagram if you're into the I Ching and talk about the themes and how the energies influence our life and our reality. And I feel these are really powerful conversations to be having in community, conscious conversations and connecting over these themes. I feel we are in an epic jump point in our evolution. I think we can all feel it. Things are changing. We are changing. We are changing from the inside out and it's affecting our reality in all sorts of ways. And uh, we can really be empowered in these times and ride the waves of opportunities to transform. And that really is the purpose of the Gene Keys. It's unlocking our greatest potential and riding the higher frequency waves. And uh, that's also what the I Ching is about and human design and all these wonderful systems that we have access to. And there's growing community of awareness around these types of systems, empowering systems. So Gene Key 24, it is uh, all about changing the way we think. The shadow is addiction. And with addiction, addictive thinking, and it really is all in our mind. Uh, these uh, the, just thinking can become an addiction. We think in circles versus the higher frequency expression of this is invention. And in invention, we work in spirals. And the only way to level up our frequency from the addictive ways of thinking and doing things and going about our lives and repeating same pa similar patterns is to create, well, actually, we don't create the gaps. The gaps are there. It's whether or not we respond to the gaps by being in stillness and silence and embracing the feelings that come along with those gaps. And sometimes those feelings are uncomfortable. They could feel like melancholy or depression or anxiousness. And ultimately, we all have this wound we all come in with a, a sacred wound let's call it and it's this desire or longing to return to our wholeness to this idea of unity and this feeling of that connection to all that is and the gap is really there for us to return to ourselves and that's the I Ching it's called returning it's about returning to our true nature and in our society, in our culture, we just miss these gaps because we're so busy doing or we don't want to feel uncomfortable. So we either numb it out. Uh, we, yeah, we numb it out or we do the opposite and we just keep ourselves busy to avoid uh, feeling the gaps. And the gaps is really where the magic is. It's where invention is. It's where we allow ourselves to take quantum leaps and and either notice something different, do something different. And uh, this is a theme, this theme of being in the gap or being in a pause or contemplating, moving slow. I've been talking about this for a year now because I've, I've noticed in myself, the, the not self to use human design language, a, a version of me that created a community by really being so busy and not honoring the gaps uh, led to burnout ultimately and I think a lot of people are talking more about burnout and needing to do things differently and COVID was a great blessing in sort of forcing us all to pause and do things differently and I think that's really indicative of how much our reality has changed since then so many more people are waking up to making changes and looking at life differently which is a really beautiful thing so in this theme, I would say it's a really powerful time to notice how you're looking at things differently and even to notice how you move in your day. And 
are you inspired to move because it truly feels aligned and it's a curiosity that's moving you and it's an inspiration or are you moving because of a fear or an impulse or a stress that's coming from a place of lack and notice those two differences within yourself or within others and, and that theme is really going to be playing out in these days so I'd love to hear from you uh, your thoughts on this topic and there's a couple days left I'm doing a free reading for two people I'll do a draw at the end of the month for anybody who comments on my videos or sends me a dm that you'd be interested to have a sit down and have a free reading with me an intuitive reading about your purpose through the lens of gene keys and I look forward to talking to you in the next video.